Hi everyone, I am Fadish Hadi, a nurse educator in the ICU, and today we will speak about SAT and SPT protocol. Here inside our ICU, most of the patients are mechanically ventilated, and they are at risk of complication like immobility, DVT, pressure ulcer, and ventilator-acquired pneumonia, VAB. The aim from spontaneous awakening trial, SAT, and spontaneous breathing trial, SBT protocol, is to reduce the number of days a patient is in a mechanical ventilator and to decrease the complications like VAB and to decrease the length of stay in the hospital in general. This is the SAT and SBT protocol, which have four main parts, the SAT safety screen, then the decreasing and holding of the sedation, then the SBT screen and uh, SBT trial. If the patient pass all of these stages, uh, then he will be possible to be extubated. If he fail in some stages, he will be re-evaluated in the next day. So the stages of the uh, protocol are four stages. The spontaneous awakening trial, SAT safety screen. If the patient met the criteria, then the uh, decreasing or holding the sedation. Then the spontaneous breathing trial safety screen. If the patient met the criteria, there will be performance of a spontaneous breathing trial. If the patient met the criteria and he's doing well, he will be extubated. In this protocol, we are using SAS or sedation agitation scale. This tool will enable us to understand how much is the sedation is working and how much the degree of agitation for the patient. This tool will not measure the pain or the anxiety or the brain function for the patient. And it has scores from one to seven. If the patient's score is one, it means he's minimally or no response to stimuli and he is not communicating or, or following commands. If we say the patient is number four, it means he's calm, he's cooperative, easily erosible, following the commands like open your eyes, uh, grasp my hand, and that one is our target in the protocol, SAT and SPT. If we say the patient has seven, it means he's pulling the tube, he's trying to remove the catheters, climbing over the bed rails. Now let's start to explain the protocol step by step. All patients who are mechanically ventilated should undergo the protocol starting by performing the SAT safety screen at 6 a.m. All mechanically ventilated patients they will go through the protocol except if they have some exclusion like maxillofacial flap, active seizure, alcohol withdrawal or they are getting paralytic agent they agitated and their SAS more than 6, or they have myocardial ischemia, or their ICB is high. If they have any of these elements, then the safety screen fail. What I need to do at that moment, I need to re-scan the patient in the next day. If the patient has no exclusion, then we will consider that one as bad safety screen. The nurse will perform SAT as per protocol. My patients getting sedation like propofol, midazolam, and dexmedidomidine, the Brisidex, then I need to do the follow. If he is getting uh, propofol, it means I need to decrease it by 50%. So if he is getting 100 mg per hour, it will become 50 mg per hour at the beginning. If he is getting midazolam, I need to stop it immediately. If he is getting Brisidex and his test less than 4, it means I will reduce it by 0.2 mic per kg per hour and I will assess in one hour. Now, I will assess the patient after 30 minutes. If his SAS is still less than 4, I need to hold the propofol at all. My patient is getting opioid infusion beside of the sedation, and after I hold the propofol and the midazolam, still his SAS is less than 4. What I need to do, I need to hold the opioid infusion. At the same time, I need to assess the patient pain to control it by intermittent or uh, BRN doses. After holding the sedation, if patient became agitated and his SAS is 6 or more, or his pain is 4 or more and we failed to manage his pain, or his saturation became less than 88% for 5 minutes or more, or he became respiratory distress, or his ICB is more than 20, or acute cardiac arrhythmias, or hemodynamically not stable and he's using two vasopressors or more, if he developed any of these points, we will consider the SAT fail, or if he developed two points from these criteria. If the heart rate increased 20 feet per minute more than the original uh, heart rate, or the heart rate became less than 55 feet per minute, or using accessory muscles or abdominal paradox, 
or diaphoresis. If he develop any of these criteria, then the patient fail the SAT. What I have to do at that time, I need to restart sedation, but at a half dose on the original previous dose, and I need to notify the uh, ICU physician. After that, I will titrate according to the uh, original order uh, and according to the pain uh, score and SS. If the patient is getting presidix, I need to uh, contact the uh, physician to adjust the dose for me. If the patient hopefully pass the uh, SAT, then the nurse will inform the respiratory therapist to apply SPT safety screen. They will exclude patients who are long-term ventilator dependent and the patient who has desaturation and the patient who are consuming high FiO2 or if they are not stable hemodynamically or if they have impaired respiratory drive and they will consider those patients are fail the SPT safety screen. And what they are gonna do at this, at this time, they will rescan in the next day. If the patient pass and he has no uh, exclusion, what I need to do, I need to hold feeding. At this moment, the respiratory therapist will perform SPT as protocol. If the patient develop agitation, SAS more than six or equal to six or pain more than four and did not able to uh, manage his pain or a saturation became less than 88 or respiratory distress, then this patient will fail the SPT. Uh, the respiratory therapist will increase the ventilator support to provide restful ventilation and we will resume the uh, feeding and we will scan next day. If he hopefully passed the uh, SPT, then the respiratory therapist will assess patient for extubation and will discuss with physician uh, and he will assess the ability to maintain the airway and he will do some parameters like NIF and leak test. If the patient pass these tests, then uh, the uh, order will be obtained to extubate the patient. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye.